Solving quadratics by factorisation. Question 1. x squared equals 9x. Rearranging this, I subtract 9x from both sides. So x squared minus 9x equals 0. I can take x out as a factor. So x times x minus 9 in brackets equals 0. Either x must be equal to 0 or x minus 9 must be equal to 0. So x equals 0 or x equals 9. Question 2. x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. I need to factorise this. This time it goes in a double bracket. I need to find the same two numbers that multiply to make minus 15 and add to make minus 5, minus 2. So I must need 3 and minus 5. This will give me x plus 3 in brackets times x minus 5 in brackets equals 0. So either x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 5 equals 0. Solving this, x must be equal to minus 3 or x is equal to 5. Question 3. 6x squared plus 13x minus 5 equals 0. I need to factorise this because of the 6x squared. This is more complicated than the last example. The first terms multiply to make 6x squared. I'd need a 1 and a 6 or a 2 and a 3. The last terms multiply to make minus 5, so I'd need minus 1 and 5 and 1 and minus 5. The inner and outer terms add to make plus 13x. I can do this by trial and error mentally, but I'm going to list them all here so that you can see the combinations that this gives. Putting the inner and outer terms together gives us these answers. I'm looking for plus 13x, so the brackets that I need are 3x minus 1 and 2x plus 5. So 3x plus 1 in brackets times 2x plus 5 in brackets equals 0. So either 3x minus 1 equals 0 or 2x plus 5 equals 0. Rearranging, 3x equals 1 or 2x equals minus 5. So x equals a third or x equals minus 5 over 2. Question 4. 4x squared plus 17x equals 6x minus 2x squared. Rearranging this, I need to minus 6x from both sides and add 2x squared to both sides. So 4x squared plus 17x minus 6x plus 2x squared equals 0. I need to simplify this, so 4x squared and 2x squared give me 6x. 17x minus 6x give me 11x. So 6x squared equal, plus 11x equals 0. Factorising this, x times 6x plus 11 in brackets equals 0. So either x equals 0 or 6x plus 11 equals 0. Rearranging this, 6x equals minus 11. So x equals 0 or x equals minus 11 over 6. The last question, x minus 3 squared equals 13. This is easy because we just need to take the square root of both sides to get rid of the squared part on the x minus 3. This will give us x minus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 13. You need to remember the plus or minus because the square root has a positive and a negative answer. Rearranging this, x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 13. So now we have two answers, a positive or a negative. So x equals 3 plus root 13 or x equals 3 minus root 13.